Lance, when you talk about the confidence uh, you have going into this weekend, is it something you're seeing in practice, in the meeting rooms? I mean, what kind of things have you seen so far from the team this week that gives you that feeling? Um, uh, for an example, on Monday, we had like almost every guy come in. Monday's our off day, so we had almost every single guy come in to the building, get some type of recovery in, get some type of uh, workout in to uh, get better that day because they couldn't sit at home and not get better. You know, so that's that's just one example this week. Joe Giuliano. Good morning, Lance. Um, as a young player, what has all this lack of success that Penn State's had this year uh, done uh, to your psyche? I mean, mentally, what, what, what goes through your mind and, and how do you think uh, you guys can dig out of this? Um, I'm not really focused on uh, how it affects me. I'm just trying to get better at every single day. That's what I'm just trying to come in with a uh, – just, com just compete, just do all the core values, just positive attitude, great work ethic, competing everything you do, and sacrificing. So, you know, that's what I'm just trying to do every day. I'm not even worried about how it affects me. Nate Bauer. Hey, Lance. Um, during the quarantine – like, what was your workout situation like? What what were you able to do or not do? Um, well, I wasn't really able to lift weights as, as much as I am here because uh, everything was closed down. So, I mean, I was able to go to some high school football fields. My, my old high school football field actually got closed down, so I had to – uh, about 25, 30 minutes to get to the next high school. So, uh, you know, it, it was kind of hard to work out, but, you know, we got it done. The biggest well-born? Um, it's new bias well-born, Patrick. And, yeah, um, my man, thanks for taking the time out for us. Um, when you look at this season, I know it's a tough year. But what are the things that you have found joy in this season or you have or you are thankful for this year? Uh, just the team. You know, I, this is family culture here. You know, everybody's in, embraced each other. Uh, no matter what our record is, everybody wants to win, of course, but, you know, it's just the team. Partha Vijaya. What's going on, Lance? Appreciate the time this morning. Um, earlier you kind of touched on it and if you don't want to get into it, but you talked about like some kind of off the field distractions for you last year and how that weight's been kind of lifted off your shoulders for you to be able to, you know, kind of play more, play better this season. Um, wh what has that been like? What were some of those things that were hindering you kind of off the football field? Um, for one example, I had, well, it's, it's basically like the main cause of, of what was happening because I have sleep apnea, so I didn't, but I got diagnosed with it last year. So I had to get a CPAP machine and uh, I just started getting used to it like this summer. So, you know, that, that was is what mainly caused it. I was coming late to certain stuff in the morning, you know? So you know, I just, I, I, I knew I had a problem. So I just wanted to get it checked out, got a diagnosis. And, you know. I have a quick follow-up to Rich, that. Um, uh, oh, go ahead real quick, please. Yeah. How did you kind of learn about your condition? Like, what was it that caused you to go to the doctor initially? Um, I was just asleep all day, and I felt like I wasn't getting no sleep. And I was sleep 12, 14 hours a day, and I just wake up, felt like I slept an hour, maybe. So. Thank Rich Garcella? Lance, how did you um, – how, how can you compare – how you're feeling now to how, to before you were diagnosed and how long had you dealt with sleep apnea? Do you know how, how long did you have a sleep issue? Um, well, I think it was since high school, but I think uh, having a schedule, having like a morning schedule every single day in college, it just got a lot worse. But high school, you know, it was like, it was still as hard. It was still hard. My mom was waking me up, couldn't wake me up type stuff. And, uh, you know, it just, I feel like it got a lot worse. So I just felt like I had to get it checked out. So I don't know how long, 
Um, I would say, I would say it got a lot worse my second semester here. That's probably when I felt like, like I definitely has it was something going on. How, how much better are you doing now? Well, a lot better. I mean, if I get five hours of sleep, I feel like I got the whole night to be honest. All right, so we will go ahead now. So has everyone had a chance to ask at least one question? I think we're good, correct? So we'll go ahead now. We'll do the raised hands thing. If you have a question, please raise your hand. Uh, I'll call your name and then just unmute yourself. So Tyler Donahue, go ahead. Lance, uh, with Pat out for the season, we're going to start to see a lot more of Brenton and, and Theo and, and maybe some of Tyler Warren. I'd imagine that you've gone up against those guys in practice a bit more. Can you give us some perspective on, on what Brenton Strange brings to the starting role and also those two freshmen, Tyler Warren, Theo Johnson, what, what stands out about those guys thus far? Um, you know, Brenton, Brenton's an athletic guy. Uh, so is Theo. They both uh, pretty versatile in the, at the tight end position, you know, run blocking, pass blocking, and uh, going out for passes, catching. We saw Brenton on, on Saturday. He's like, you know, he's, he's going to go and get it. So, you know, uh, both of those guys are really great guys. Um, well, they're hard to cover in practice, you know, but you know, we get after it. Nate Bauer? Lance, just, just one more on the uh, the workout situation, the, the quarantine period. Do, do you, like, see ramifications from that now? Like, do you do you notice anything in terms of the way that you – you feel or the strength did you did you feel like you stagnated or fell back not having that opportunity to, to lift weights as much um probably when i first got back uh from quarantine or from whatever you want to call it call it the covid break or whatever uh probably like when i first got here you know i was struggling a little bit you know uh lifting weights because i felt like i had gotten weaker obviously I haven't been looking away since however many months it was. So, uh, you know, but I'm not really feeling it now because we already caught back up in the weight room. So I'm already hitting past my numbers from last year. So, you know, I'm doing well now. Andrew Porterfield. Hey, Lance, as a pretty young player yourself, what's your confidence level in the other young guys on the team to continue to make an impact uh, through the second half of the year? Oh, it's high. I mean, it has to be now. I mean, we we down some guys, so some young guys are going to have to step up. It's the only way that we can do it. Uh, next man up mentality, you know. Uh, Britain's going in a lot more because Pat's out now. Uh, it's a lot of guys like that on the team as as freshmen, as sophomores, as they need to step up and uh, they need to step up and play. Rich Garcella. Hey, Lance. You, can you tell us or describe to us what you see on film from Michigan's offense? Um, a lot of uh, running the ball, uh, play action pass. You know, they uh, do a lot of sneaky stuff with their tight ends. Um, and that's pretty much all I can say right now. Okay. Joe Giuliano. Lance, I know the big house isn't going to have any fans this Saturday, but how's it feel uh, to you going back uh, home and playing in that stadium? And were you a Michigan fan when you were a young kid? Um, actually, I was a Michigan State fan when I was growing up. But, uh, you know, it means it means a lot, you know, going back home. You know, I know a lot of guys on that team. I know a lot of guys in that state, obviously. So, you know, it means a lot going back home. Arthur Bajaya. Lance, I want to ask, uh, somebody asked earlier, but I want to ask one more question about Brenton Strange. Um, what is it that you see in him that gives you the confidence that he can fill those big shoes that, that Pat has left behind? Um, just seeing his progression from last year, you know, his routes uh, got 10 times better. His, his, uh, his run blocking got 10 times better. You know, he's gotten stronger, gotten quicker. Um, so, you know, I see, uh, I have a lot of confidence in him going into this Michigan week. Tyler, Tyler Donahue. How is uh, Curtis Jacobs coming along in his first college season? And, and where do you think maybe the biggest steps forward for him have been since, you know, you first met him on campus? 
Um, Curtis is he's progressed a lot, you know. Uh, if I had to say one thing that he's gotten a lot better with going into the going into this week is the playbook. You know, he's um it's hard because he's a freshman. He's learning two spots. He has to learn like has to learn two spots, uh, so he can get as much playing time as he can. And you know, it's it's hard for him, but you know, he's doing a good job. Uh, he's doing a good a better job than most guys would coming in as a freshman. So. Yes, yeah, so it's doing pretty good. Rich Scarcella. Lance, have you ever played on a team that's been in the middle of a stretch like this or had a stretch like this? And what do you think it'll take for you guys to get back on the winning track? Can you repeat that? Sure. Have you ever been on a team that's been through a stretch like this that you're going through now? And what do you think it'll take for you guys to end this thing and get back on the winning track? Um, you know, I mean, I would just say you got to work harder. Um, can't just uh, give up now. Um, that's all. I, I mean, I've never been on a team that that's uh, – I've lost as many games in the season before. So, I mean, I don't know. I'm going to just do my best to uh, come up to practice every day with that, with the core values in my mind. So, you know, that's all I, that's all I can do. All right, so these will be our last two questions here. Um, Tyler Donahue, go ahead. One more uh, follow-up on on Curtis Jacobs. Uh, you know what it's like to come to to LBU as a as a top prospect at that position. Um, how do you kind of deal with with expectations entering that situation? And, and how does how has Curtis kind of handled the mental side of of things? Not the playbook so much, but just dealing with being a highly rated recruit and playing that position at Penn State. Um, I think he's taking it well. You know. Uh, Obviously, I've talked to him about it because, uh, you know, he's basically in the same position that I was coming in um, as a four-star, basically, and then after you're on campus, getting it upgraded. Um, so, you know, I've, I've talked to him about it, you know. Um, but, you know, he's, he's doing good with it. He's definitely doing good. And last question, Parth, go ahead and close us out. Lance, with your uh, sleep apnea condition, do you have a story from last season that you can share with us about maybe a time you were late to practice or, or late to a meeting and the coaches didn't know about your condition and you kind of had to explain yourself? And, and what was that like? Um, I mean, it's like, it's, I barely can remember. I mean, it's, it's just kind of, I was waking up. So like, they probably, somebody have to come to my house, see if um sleep, bang on the door, then, yeah, if I'm not answering the phone because I'm asleep and they'll just come uh, pick me up in the golf cart and then we drive to the last building. And then uh, I, mean, I don't even know what to, I mean, I don't even know what to say. Like, to be honest, when I walk in, it's kind of like, you know, feel like, uh, I'm not going to say it, but, I, you know, it's, Were you it's kind of, it's, huh? Was there a sense of embarrassment, you know, kind of coming yeah, in? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Not know? Yeah. Cause it's, it's kind of like you, it's, it's nobody knows like why you're late. So they kind of just kind of make their own guess. So, you know, it's, it's nothing you can really say. Like, I'm not about to explain myself there. We're trying to meet, you know? So it's kind of like, we are, we already in a rush. So. And it was a teammate, right? A teammate or a assistant coach coming to your dorm, knocking on yeah. the door. 